Good morning, grade 5. Welcome back to grade 5 mathematics class. How are you all doing today? I hope all the concepts we learned in chapter 13 are clear to you. So we'll work out the questions from revision station today. All of you please turn to page number 197 in your textbook. And let me tell you one thing children, what you see here is the latest political map of our country India and in your textbook what you see is an old version of the Indian political map. However, we'll work out the questions based on the map and the questions given in the exercise. So let's move on to the questions. Study the map of India carefully and answer the questions that follow. The first one. If you want to go from point A to B, then in which direction should you go? Which states will you cross on your way if you go in a straight line? Now, if you please look into the map given there, do you see the point A which is in the state of Karnataka and the point B which is in Haryana? Now, you are asked if you are going from A to B in a straight line, which direction should you go? So, here we have the north, here we have the south, here we have the east and here we have the west direction. So to go from point A to B, you have to go in which direction? You have to go in the north direction. And it is also asked which all states would you cross while moving from A to B. So which are the states that come in between the points A and B? So to move from point A to B, you have to move in the north direction. And the states you will cross are Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh and Rajasthan. Hope this is clear to you. Now let's move on to the second question. So second question is which state lies to the north of Himachal Pradesh? So are we able to locate Himachal Pradesh here? You can see Himachal Pradesh in this map here. Now to the north of Himachal Pradesh. Which direction is north? Here. And which state do you see there? So according to the map given there, the state you see there is Jammu and Kashmir. So let's move on to the next question. The third one, which is the largest state as per the area? And it is also given, ask about its actual area from your social studies teacher. The area of each small square is 1 centimeter square. So in your social studies class, you might have learned the actual area of the largest state according to this political map. Now. Here you can see the map is given in a square grid and the area of a small square is 1 centimeter square. If that is the case, see we have already learned how to find out the area of a figure using a square grid. And you are asked to find out which is the state having the largest area when you calculate the area in terms of these squares. So when you look at the map and when you count the squares and calculate the area, it seems that Rajasthan covers the most number of small squares on this square grid and hence it should be the state or it should be the largest state having the largest area based on this square grid. So let's write the answer here as Rajasthan. You can check the area of the other states as well and check if Rajasthan itself is the largest state as per this figure given here. Now let's move on to the next one. Which are the states which have C as boundary on one side? So in the map, you are able to see the Arabian Sea to the west, the Indian Ocean towards the south and the Bay of Bengal towards the east of India. So you are asked to find out which are the states that have sea on one side of its boundary. So which would be the states? You can see the states like West Bengal, Odisha, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Karnataka, Goa, Maharashtra and Gujarat. These states have C on one side of their boundary. So let's have a look at the answer once again. The states which have C as boundary on one side are Gujarat, Maharashtra, Goa, Karnataka, Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, Odisha and West Bengal. Hope it is clear to you. Now let's move on to the next one. Which state is the smallest in terms of area? So based on the map given here, which are the smallest states from among these? See, Goa is a very small state and the states towards the east side of India. Those are all small states as well. And 
can you find out which is the state having the smallest area among these it seems that goa is having the smallest area so what is the answer here goa now let's move on to the next question question number six in which direction should you go if you want to visit the place where the arabian sea the indian ocean and the bay of bengal meet if you are coming from madhya pradesh so first let's have a look at the point where these three are meeting the arabian sea the indian ocean and the bay of bengal are meeting towards the south of india so if you are coming from madhya pradesh which direction should you move we should move towards the south so what is the answer so it is the south direction that you should go if you want to visit the place where the arabian sea the indian ocean and the bay of bengal meet now let's move on to the next one find the approximate area of maharashtra if each small square is of size 180 kilometers so you have already learned how to calculate the area using a square grid so in a square grid if each square has a side of 1 cm the area of each square will be side into side or 1 cm square now here you are given a condition that each small square represents a side of 180 km so what would be the area of each small square the area of each small square will be side into side or 180 km into 180 km now you are asked to find out the approximate area of maharashtra so where is maharashtra here so how do you find out the area you have already learned how to count the squares in a square grid to calculate the area of the given figure so let's count the number of squares which are covered in full or more than half by the boundary of the state so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 there are 11 squares which are covered either in full or more than half by the boundary of the state of maharashtra so the total area will be 11 into the area of each small square and we have already seen that area of each small square here in this case is equal to 180 km into 180 km let's see the steps and make it more clear so the area of a small square is equal to 180 km into 180 km that is side into side and that is equal to 32400 km square or square kilometers now the total area will be 11 squares into the area of a small square that is 11 into 32400 km square and that is equal to 3 lakh 56400 km square that is the approximate area that the state of maharashtra covers hope this is clear to you now let's see the next question name the state that lies to the west of tamil nadu so where is tamil nadu here at the south end of india so this is tamil nadu here it would be the north here the east south and towards here will be the west so towards the west side of tamil nadu which state do we have we have kerala so what is the answer here it is kerala that lies to the west of tamil nadu so children i hope you are clear with all the questions we have seen now now you may go through all the concepts and exercise we saw in this chapter once again and then you have to do a worksheet which is given in page number 198 of your textbook so once you are done with that do take a picture and send us through teams So that's all for today children we'll see you in the next class with a new chapter till then bye